Hey, what's up, fellas? 725, 37 degrees. It's Thursday. Super Bowl starts at uh, 4.30 on Sunday here, uh, mountain, mountain time. So there's the sun just trying to peek over the uh, Franklin Mountains. Um, they found a, uh, a couple days ago, they found a stash house down in uh, south central El Paso with 28 people in it. And they thought it looked funny from the outside because there were locks, padlocks, and hasp uh, to keep the doors closed. And then they found uh, 28 people inside. Just because the president left and uh, we don't seem to be in the news anymore doesn't mean creepy, crazy stuff is going on, isn't going on down here. And let me see, yesterday, so far, how many, what are we, seven days? Nine days into the uh, February month. M mind you, there were 90, I think 97 total people murdered in Juarez. Uh, uh, by the ninth day, down in Juarez, it's uh, 21 people who have been murdered. And those are just the bodies that they can find. So um, it's, uh, I, I, you know what, if, if you're in, it's just, the, it's like the same thing with any part of uh a city, you know, there's good parts and bad parts, and uh, there's people who have and there's people who don't have. Um, but being here on the border, it's kind of amplified. You're finding a lot of, uh, they take a fentanyl and they'll put it on kids' candy and they'll leave it like laying in a bag. Uh, it's like a little sandwich bag with a twist top on it, and it'll be, it'll have. Uh, fenton, fentanyl all over. I don't know why they would do that other than the fact that <clears throat> they're just fucking assholes, but nah, nah, the... <laughs> and, and the war's still going on down in uh, in the Juarez between uh, the cartel, the Sinaloa Sinaloa cartel, the uh, Juarez cartel which left of it, and um, the CJNG cartel Jalisco, Nueva Generation. Um, we don't really see hardly any of the murders here, but uh, we see a lot of human trafficking. And I mean a lot of human trafficking. So. I mean, I'm not trying to start you out on a bummer day. Today's my speed run day. So um, I usually eat for the first time during the day close to 2 o'clock. And I have usually uh, between 2 and 7 o'clock in the evening. So I'll just have a, a couple of cups of coffee in the morning uh, and then I'll go for my walk or sometimes I'll do a speed walk today. Uh, today's push-ups, sit-ups, uh, deep knee bends, uh, calisthenics, and then tomorrow will be uh, weight training again. So um, I try to work out between uh, five to six times every, every week, every day, every day of the week, except for Sunday. I kind of cruise Sunday. I'll still go for walks. I can tell you, as you get older, one of the things that's helped me stay, uh, keep my weight down is uh, after I eat, especially at night, the dinner meal, I go for a walk for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that really helps. And I got that from uh, David Huberman and a couple other guys here on, on YouTube. So not trying to tell you what to do, just offering you some unsolicited advice. I want you to stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can, and if you can't, take care of yourself. Hey, Ellie, Lord Erectus, I hope things get better for you. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Yeah, we need you. Yes, you're important. You're our future. Bye-bye.